Imagine a lush oasis in the heart of a barren desert, where vibrant flora cascades in layers like a living work of art. This is the legend of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the most enigmatic wonders of the ancient world. The Hanging Gardens were believed to have been constructed around 600 BCE by King Nebuchadnezzar II of Babylon. They were a testament to his love for his wife, Queen Amethyst, who longed for the green hills and valleys of her homeland. These remarkable gardens weren't hanging in the modern sense, but rather, they featured tiered terraces supported by an intricate system of arches, columns, and a complex irrigation network. Water, crucial for the garden's survival, was ingeniously transported from the Euphrates River to the terraces through a series of aqueducts and a chain pump system, allowing the flora to flourish even in the arid climate. The gardens were not just a marvel of engineering but also a symbol of the king's devotion. They were designed to replicate the beauty and serenity of Amidus's homeland, offering a paradise within the city. These gardens were home to a rich variety of plant species, from exotic trees and shrubs to vibrant, fragrant flowers. They created a tranquil, scented haven for the residents of Babylon. The hanging gardens left an indelible mark on the world's imagination. Despite their awe-inspiring reputation, they have been the subject of much debate and mystery among historians and archaeologists. Over time, the hanging gardens of Babylon gradually disappeared from historical records, leaving us to wonder about their exact location and fate. Some even question their existence. The search for these gardens continues, with archaeologists and historians on a quest to uncover the truth behind this ancient legend. The hanging gardens of Babylon may remain shrouded in mystery, but their legacy lives on as a symbol of human ingenuity, love, and the timeless allure of the natural world.